Hello, uh, my name is Eric Beyer, Product Manager for Steel, and I'm happy to be here today to give you a quick preview of some of the highlights of what's new for steel detailing and fabrication in Tecla Structures 2018. The property pane is going to make your modeling really powerful, really easy, and I think it's going to help reduce errors because you can see again immediately what needs to be modified and what will be changed before those changes are applied. It's really easy to make those changes as well. You don't have to move over and click a uh, modify button. You can just modify them in instantly by hitting enter. Again, when you've got multiple objects selected, you can see those different values and you can as well see the values that are applied to those objects, uh, select from those values to easily set common properties. And one of the other really nice things is that when the property pane is open, if you select a new object, it automatically gets those object properties. So it's kind of like the instant inquire in that you can immediately see the properties of the object you've just selected. And I think one of the things that everyone is going to really, really like is that it is customizable. So you can fully decide which properties you want to show, how you want to group them, where you want to show them, and most importantly, which UDAs you want to have accessible right there in the property pane. Another really nice productivity tool that you're going to like in 2018 is the new Undo History. And this is all about helping you save time and prevent errors when you're undoing actions. Um, as you can see here, as you're modeling on, you can see the Undo History build up. All you have to do to go back in time is click on a row and that'll take you back to where you were. So you can clearly see what you may have done by accident. If you accidentally copied something at one point in time and didn't realize you'd done that, you can go back and undo that. So it makes it easy to quickly and accurately undo mistakes and accidents, as well as to easily undo or redo many actions at once. The DirectX graphics is really all about a better modeling experience. You've got much clearer visuals, which means that you're going to have less eye strain and it's much easier to see what you're doing, which means that you're also going to see when you've done something wrong or when you're working in an area that you didn't think you were working in. So that's going to help reduce errors while you're modeling. So DirectX really just improves the rendering, adds in a little bit of shading, which again improves the contrast, makes things easier to see, easier to work with. Uh, and as well, if you've got a sufficient graphics card, you're going to find that the graphical performance is even better compared to the old OpenGL. Thank you, Eric. With Tecla Structures 2018, we continued our journey of achieving better drawings faster than before. I will soon demo you new tools that help to improve your productivity when producing quality drawings. Let's take a look on how to get faster and better markups first. Previously, marks were not always placed in a clear way, especially for more complex assemblies and GAs. You can see that the new mark placement is turned on in this model. However, drawing itself has been created with the previously existing algorithm. So you can see that the result on this drawing is not clear to read and desired. New markups uh, try to avoid crossing of labels and leader lines. So you can see that the placing is fixed and the search margin has been put to be closer. So now I will select all the marks and run the new intelligent placement for them. Now they will be placed more clearly and precisely compared to the previous version, as said by our customer who participated in the user feedback program. When you need to clean up only a selected area semi-automatically, there are two new options available on the ribbon, Arrange Marks and Align Marks. So you could run them several times for selected marks to achieve better result as well as aligning marks. It will run in a close proximity, so you could place marks in the area you want them to be combined and then run align marks or arrange marks to get the neat result automatically. Drawing Content Manager has been designed to help you to annotate drawing faster. You can add multiple marks in one go to quickly selected parts, fine tune them and check when preparing drawings for issuing. You can check quickly if all needed parts are marked in relevant views. I will show you soon an example on how it could help, for example, adding weld marks. You can control markups and notes quicker. You can search with different attributes on the fly. I'll show that as well. There are also much more other features which I will demo you shortly. You can find Drawing Content Manager on the side pane of a drawing mode. You can check how many marks model objects have in one view or on entire drawing. You can see I'm now selecting multiple model objects, so you can use this for quick filtering, editing and checking. 
As you can see, now I'm switching between working with parts or markups. For example, when new objects appear on already existing drawing, you can easily find them by sorting marks quantity. They would have zero marks. Through the Drawing Content Manager, you can add, modify, or delete several markups simultaneously through the contextual menu, as you just saw. Visible objects which appear drawing with hidden lines can be filtered from the Drawing Content Manager list by clicking Show Hidden Objects on and off. When they are set to be visible, list will show parts visible on the drawing that are placed behind other parts. I'm using this to quickly add weld marks to modeled welds and drawings, which was not possible in earlier than Tackle Structures 2018 version. Select just welds relevant to the view directly, using Show Hidden Parts, which then to hide irrelevant welds. You can select visible welds only, but they could be hidden from the output by setting the appearance, as you can see on this dialog, of welding properties. You can select welds either from the Drawing Content Manager or directly on the drawing, and run new command for adding welds. Now after refreshing, you can see that the quantity has changed from 0 to 1 and weld behind the part has not been annotated. Now in 2017 we introduced Spiral Beam and this is an all new dedicated Spiral Beam object. Makes it very easy to model spiral structures such as stringers, handrails and concrete ramps. Because it's designed for spirals, it's easy to input, it's easy to edit. All of the parameters can be called, controlled parametrically. And it's all about accurate detailing of spirals. So there's no roll in the profile like there is with a 3D polybeam. It maintains a constant up direction, so you've got a vertical web throughout the spiral sweep. We've also continued the development on the bent plates. There's some nice improvements coming here in 2018. Part of that is easier editing. It used to be that if you needed to move the handles of an existing section, it was necessary to explode that before you could do so. Now you can move those handles out of plane. One of the advantages of this is that it means you can now bind those handles within custom components to create uh, common bent plate details or connections. As well, we've improved the control of the unfolded orientation. There's a new set main section command available because, as you know, the main section defines the coordinate system, which will define how that plate will be oriented in drawings when it's unfolded. So now you can control which section will be the main section when it's unfolded. As well, uh, the main axis direction user-defined attribute is available for bent plates as well, and that can help you give further control for how those plates will be oriented when they are unfolded. We've been working on the welding for three or four years now, uh, and we're continuing to roll out additional improvements because we really want to be able to help you model with accurate welds uh, because productive modeling of accurate welds will give you improved weld quantity reporting. It will help drive welding automation. And as well, it makes it easier to do automatic weld preparation detailing, both in the model and in drawings. So some of the enhancements that we have in 2018 We've added support for compound welds, double-sided polygons, and we've got a new tool for dimensioning and creating section views of weld prep details and drawings. And finally, uh, one thing that I think a lot of people are gonna be excited about, uh, we now have point clouds in Tecla Structures 2018, meaning that you can now leverage and coordinate easily with scan data. So if you're working on a retrofit project, you can lay out against existing structural scans, or you can take site scans and compare them to your model to see how progress is going on site and check for any potential erection errors. So in terms of the point cloud support that we've got, we support all common formats. Uh, if the format happens to have color information, that support is available as well. And you can snap to those points for both layout and measuring purposes. So here's a quick little video uh, showing a sample structure in Tecla Structures and we can compare that to the point cloud scan of where that will actually be on site. Now, as you can see, the point cloud, even though it's very colorful and there's a lot of points in there, doesn't really bog the model down. So the performance is really effective and really good. And I think you'll find that working with point clouds natively in technical structures is now going to be very nice. In addition to point clouds, there's a point cloud manager extension. Uh, this is really a standalone tool, which is all about helping you to sort of pre-process multiple point clouds uh, before you would bring them into Tecla structures. Um, and again, 
I point you to the Monday Minutes recent Tekla Steel developments where Lee Snyder has a really nice video going over some of the more detailed aspects of working with point clouds and Tekla structures, as well as some in-depth look at how to use the point cloud manager tool. Many of you know Tekla Warehouse. That has been with us for some time and its content has been increasing ever since. In this online library, you can find many tools that will help you to improve your productivity by automating your workflows. You can find, for example, such popular extensions as publishing to 3D PDF, plates from build up section, and so on, you can see here on the right side. So let's take a look into some recently developed tools. You can find the plates from build up section extension for the previous versions as well. It consists of two applications aimed to help the detailing of plate beams used in many industries such as offshore and pre-engineering buildings. The plates from build-up section create separate plates while the plates beam converter converts a beam into plates. Unsymmetrical eye profile will be supported with the new version and the symmetrical with unsymmetrical welded box profiles as well and there were made many more fixes and improvements. Complex Polybeams is a tool included into Polybeam Tools extension that has been around for a while. It allows you to easily create polybeams along different curved shapes, such as ellipse and helix. The latest development has also added the possibility of reading the points from CSV file and creating a polybeam along the line. Now, if you have a valid maintenance contract with Tech, that provides you with a lot more than just free upgrades of the software and access to service releases. It also gives you access to your skilled local help desk, access to a lot of the exclusive online services, as well as access to the content in the Tecla warehouse, and finally access to the discussion forum where you can learn and share with your peers who work with Tecla structures.